Oh no, no. No. The perfect positioning, but I just overcommitted. No. So sad. Right, welcome back to the channel. And boy, oh boy, has it been quite a long time since I've uploaded something on. Yes, I've been away this week. I was traveling for work, of course. I am back now and I bring you this vehicle, which is the French Baguette, my version of a French Baguette. It is a premium vehicle, the AMX 50T9930, that was unlockable, not in the previous battle pass, but the one before that. My take on this tank, well, I'll be honest, I'm going to have to find out and see how it goes. For now, I'm pretty sure it's going to be interesting. Nonetheless, I mean, I, I'm kind of like clutching my teeth here going like, well, I don't like French tanks, right? But I have to give this thing a, like a spin of some sort. So again, I don't know. You tell me what you think of this tank if you're playing it. I am not a fan of French tanks. That's it, right? So we'll have to wait and see. It's at 7.3. So it's going to have a little tough competition up there. But nonetheless, let's try it out. Ooh, okay. Good here. Let's see. What do I do? Oh, oh. Oh, that's a T-44. Back up, back up, back up. Up the smokes. I don't know how good this tank is. I've never driven a French tank before. But it does drop that T-44 pretty quickly. Bit of a swing shot there. Alright, so we into another game here. Let's see how this goes. Again. Not sure what's popping here. There's another little AMX. This is another Frenchie over there. Don't have a lot of hope actually for the French tanks, but apparently they are very good to play, so I just suck. That could be the problem. Is that one of ours or one of theirs? Oh, that's ours. There they are. See, there they are. This park. Oh, wait, hold on. I've got a shot off on this one. Boom. Pick them off. There was something moving towards the right here, so be careful. Be rushing, mate. Something is blasting this guy on the left here, but I wonder what that is. Was that? Where is he taking the shot off? This is what I want to see. Okay, let's see if I can sneak in there. Oh, it's a mouse! Okay, so we're in a bit of problem. Ah, oh, screw that, mate. Where's he, where's he, where's he? I'm your big beast of burden. Okay, there he is. Shoot, just missed him. I mean, I've pinned him at least. Okay, he's tracked. He's missing a... Ooh, this could be a nice kill for me. Can I get in here? Oh, I got a killer system. So, mm, yeah, not too shabby the AMX 50. I take, you know, I took a heat. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, Mr. T54. I'll take the extra frag just for the, the lulls. Not a very nice place to be, to be honest, but it's the end of the game anyway. If you're going to rock out your tank that late in the game, expect to get taken down. Ooh. There's something there. don't know how to aim mate you do not know how to aim well three kills not too bad really 
Another Polish game? Come on. Oh, hello there, Mr. Mouse. So, okay. I do like the uh, speed of the AMX 50. It's pretty cool. It's nice and fast. Quite nippy, actually, for its size. Turret's also quite nice. I haven't really got much time to test its reload capabilities. Apparently, these sort of tanks come with auto loaders based on its uh, oscillating turret design. Well, let's see. So, the enemy has most of the strategic zones. There the are guys in the turret. Right, there's zones. two, actually. So they are crewed turret positions. Oh, hello. Top shot. The reload time is not too bad. Oh, what a shot. Nice range. How did that not hit? Come on, give me a shot in there. Oh, no. Too late. That was a nice big boy. Oh, there he is. No, okay, maybe that's just a draw distance problem. That's too low. Draw distance is too high. Come on, this should be the money shot. Got a hit. Wham! Got him. But I'm almost out of bullets. Or oh, sorry, shells. I'll take it. After a couple of practice shots. That's a nice thing. Low, uh, well, small profile kind of turret. So to speak. So you're a little bit more hidden compared to your uh, traditional kind of heavy turreted uh, or big turreted tanks in the German tech tree. Ah, 38th parallel. Yes, always a fun map to play, and I'm a little bit late on this one, so I might actually get sniped here. Let's see. About 600 meters, I think, to the opposing cliff, so expect the campers to be here. And, uh, yeah, another one to be there, so this is a very common sighting that you get on this. Hey, the M56 really justified to be a difficult tank to use. Oh, sorry, mate. You didn't see me there. But I saw you. I mean, this M46 is going full full pace to chase him down. Oh, he's down already. Damn. Yeah, his eyes three. Oh, mate. Okay, helped you out there. It's all right. That is another IS-3. A lot of IS-3s here. Yeah. Sorry. There's something here, though. Another Russian tank. Woo! Okay, there's something else there as well. Back out. A nice thing. A little bit of mobility can go a long way. All right. He didn't hit my... Nice. Where did this guy get me from? There. Let's see if I can spot him. Yeah, ain't gonna happen. Alright, need to turn this French baguette around and try and get the other point. Let's go. Something right over here. You see, there was something there. That didn't pin though. Ah! ZSU 57! I hate you! Okay, so. Thanks, pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Have to be the perfect strike on the turret. That 
that's it. That's it. They don't like me here yeah, because I hide behind. Perfect positioning, but I just overcommitted. No. So sad. Two. So, okay. So that was fun. Hands down, that was a lot of fun. I did not expect to have that much fun with a French tank. It's got good mobility, no armor, to be honest. Got a good uh, baguette sized cannon, which is really cool. Good penetration, doesn't have heat affairs, doesn't have all the bells and whistles. But it's still fun to play. And I think that's what makes it unique, right? That's what makes it really kind of good. I still don't like French tanks, but I had to try this one because I've had it in my inventory for, well, almost two seasons now. I got this, uh, I unlocked this one in the Battle Pass, not the previous one, but the one before that. So it was time to take it out for a spin. And boy, oh boy... I was impressed. That's it. Anyway, so on that note, I am going to be finishing up now. But before you go, drop a comment on what you think about this tank. Give me a subscribe and a like if you want. I really appreciate it. Tell your friends about the channel. We really want to try and get this channel growing. Um, it's been a little bit of a tough road, I guess. And also, I am back now, back in the swing of things, making some more content. You'll definitely see uh, some more tanks that i will uh, look at and then also do a proper review on there's a new one coming up uh, it's a very peculiar one it's not a tank actually it's a mobile it's an armored mobile vehicle i guess if you want to call it that it's one of the prehistoric ones really but on that i hope you guys have a fantastic evening thank you very much for tuning in and we will see you in the next time good night